That shit is crazy, bro. That shit is crazy. Before I get to my point, man, what I want to say, everybody that follow Hassan Campbell, you are an airheaded, brain dead zombie on some real shit. You are an airhead and a brain dead zombie if you follow this fraud on the real. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you. I don't know, like, when you fell on your head or when you got hit in the head and lost your fucking mind. Because this nigga is a straight fucking fraud, a straight liar, a straight scam artist. Every, everything considered low and scumbaggery is this nigga. That's a fact, man. I swear to God, bro. I swear to God, bro. There's about 100,000 videos from people making videos about him. Some dudes got 1,000 videos themselves, and just many other people got videos about this nigga talking about issues, talking about things that he said, contradicted things he said, you know, just being a hypocrite and saying things and going back on what he said and not standing for nothing. I mean, this nigga is one of the worst, if not the absolute fucking worst. I swear to God. Yeah, congratulations. You figured out how to make money off YouTube and how to be a big YouTuber and be a celebrity on YouTube, nigga. Congratulations, nigga. Congrats. You can have all that. You make money off it. You can have all that. YouTube is here to make money off of. If you, if you know the fucking strategy, you know what I'm saying? If you know the how to do it, the method, it is what it is, but this nigga is a fraud, 100% genuine, genuine fraud, stamped approved fraud, I don't care what anybody in the world could tell me, this nigga is a fraud, I don't know how anybody stand behind this nigga and champ, champion him, like for real, I don't get it, man, y'all niggas is retarded, man, y'all niggas is crazy, man. This nigga sitting here thanking people for sending him money in the super chat for sponsoring a war. What war for the love of God, I would never figure out because I have no idea what he talking about. Because what, what is this nigga even attach himself to? The fucking protesters, the, the protests and the riots and the looting is happening right in his state down the street from him. You even seen him out there that time where the dude told him to follow him and he gonna have something for him. You know, so he knows exactly what's going on outside in his city of New York. And he comes up with the greatest excuse to tell you why he's not out there fighting this fight. Right? He tells you that George Soros is sponsoring Black Lives Matter, even though he can be out there doing his own thing. He got his own following. He tells you all the time he got his own movement, whatever that is. But he does have people behind him because he got all y'all fucking monkeys as subscribers and followers. So he don't even have to be a part of the Black Lives Matter. He can be out there doing his own thing. But he want to say, he want to give the excuse that he can't be out there because it's a fucking movement that has been, first of all, it's being sponsored by a white supremacist, George Soros, and it's been hijacked by two lesbian women. So it's not a, a righteous movement. And then he disrespects people that's out there that's fighting a fight. My son and Tamika, right? He constantly disrespects them. But then he constantly trying to hold my son, you know, he constantly trying to, like, he'll diss him and then he trying to hold his dick right after, like, you know, my bad. You know, I love you. You know, you're still my brother. You know, the handsome. You're handsome. You know, he's still trying to do some little sucker up shit right after he disrespect the man. And I'm telling you, it's, it's all because... Of his true nature, it's showing his true nature that he's a hypocrite, he's a fraud. Nothing he says means anything. This nigga, I mean, he's full of substance, but it's wasted. It's wasted substance. 
his life is garbage. This nigga needs attention in order to not kill himself. So he'll just say anything. I'm telling you, he's sitting here now talking about some thank you for the money that the monkeys is sending him in the super chat for sponsoring this war. And I'm sitting there about to just break this fucking phone because I'm like, nigga, what are you like? What war are you sponsoring? What war are you sponsoring, nigga? What fucking anything are you attached to besides your couch and the car that you sit in making these videos? Like, what are you attached to? What movement? What organization? Nigga, you're not even with the organization, any organization for child molestation, which is supposed to be your whole stance. You're not even with anything attached to that. And in this live, this is obviously the live about the coward that hit the girl with the skateboard. He's actually saying that he's going to put $1,000 up as a as bounty money, right, for this dude to be captured. And everybody that donate, and I'm going to talk about this right now because this is a straight up scam. He says anybody that put any money towards that is going to be added to the $1,000 that he puts up for the capture of this dude that hit the girl with the skateboard. Sounds good, right? But you know exactly what it is. If you don't know, here's what it is. It's a scam. What it is is he's making believing, make you believe that he putting a thousand dollars up. You can't see this at all. Remember that there's no proof to show that he's actually putting nothing up. He's just telling you out of his mouth that he's putting a thousand up and then y'all going to donate money and it's going to go towards that. And whatever that accumulates to, I guess, it's going to go to the fucking person or whoever that capture is, dude. Really? Y'all believe that? And you know, I know y'all believe that because y'all going to send them money towards that shit because y'all are that much are fucking monkeys. Like, it, y'all don't have to be proving anything. Y'all just take his word of mouth. Y'all really like, like this dude like he's really somebody important. Y'all really believe in this nigga like he's really saying something. He hasn't proved anything he's been talking about from day one. It didn't the lawsuit, this is another thing. The lawsuit with Bambada, didn't that just fall through? And he's not taking Bam out of the court no more because somehow, I guess the prosecutors and the state attorney and all that came to some agreement that they're going to throw the case out. Isn't that ironic? Isn't that convenient that he doesn't have to take Bam out of nowhere because supposedly they threw the case out? Because we already knew from day one he wasn't trying to take Bam out of nowhere. It's been well overdue if you was going to do that. You said the shit happened to you. You got molested when you was a young teenager, 13, 15, 16. And now you're 40 something. Now you want to go to court? Come on, man. What y'all, y'all niggas is smoking way too much out there. Y'all need to put the fucking weed down and start thinking for yourselves on some real shit. I think a lot of y'all niggas got holes in y'all brains. Real talk. Y'all let this nigga say anything and get away with it, straight up. And, and, and for the most part, y'all don't look into nothing that he's doing because people are just, you know, rolling with everything he say. Like, he'll say something previously and just and contradict it the next sentence and y'all don't even realize. Or y'all don't even care to realize. Y'all are the only thing worse than Hassan Campbell. His monkey followers are the only thing worse than him. Y'all are super pathetic, man. Really super pathetic. I can't stand y'all niggas, man. I cannot stand y'all niggas. Hassan Campbell say a lot of things that's real. A lot of things he say about Hollywood and celebrities, Jay-Z, Young Jeezy, Rick Ross, all them faggots. I agree with all that. Fuck all them niggas. Them niggas don't care about the regular average working man and woman. They don't care about their fans that made them rich. Them niggas are some suckers. They got rich and they told their communities to kiss their ass and they don't do nothing. That's a fact. 
Jay-Z, a billionaire. Look at Marcy Projects. Look at Brooklyn in general. Brooklyn being gentrified. Jay-Z can buy up a lot of Brooklyn. Why is he not doing that? I agree with a lot of shit the niggas say, man, for real. But at the very same time, he's one of the most certified, most official fraud niggas that I've ever came across in my entire life, not just on the internet, like for real. This nigga is a straight up fraud. Like I understand that YouTube is here to make content and if you're good enough, you can make money off your content. I I get that and I agree with that. I don't have a problem with the nigga making money because he might think everybody got an issue with him because he makes money and he makes good money. You know, he makes enough money that he doesn't even work. This nigga never had his job. From the moment he aired out Bambada and them views start coming and them subscribers start growing, he, if he had a job before that, he never had one after. So YouTube is feeding him very well. But the nigga is a fraud. I don't want to lose my train of thought. The kid is a fraud. This dude is a fraud. Straight fraud. I don't even know what else to say about this clown, for real. Nigga, look how many videos people got about you. A lot of them videos are some clout chasing videos, no lie. But the mass, the vast majority of them do have a point. You're you're a fraud and you a clown and you are this. It's like a it's like a fucking it's like it's like something at the circus. Everybody can tune in and they always get something out of out of your lives every day because it's just always something you're, you're giving people to clown you about and to ridicule you about. Because that's what hypocrites, it, when you're a hypocrite, people can always ridicule you because you say things and go back on what you say. It's easy to point it out. And I just want to know overall, What's going on with this so-called bounty money? If you have it, if you did put a thousand up, which I know you didn't, and people start sending you money, what's going on with that? He's never going to speak on this bounty money ever again. Do you notice that? How many lives he did? How many lives the nigga did after this and never spoken on the Skeeter Mills situation? You never heard about it again after this live right here. Because he's not going to do nothing about it. That's just another avenue to collect donation from y'all fucking monkeys. That's it. I don't know what else to say, man. Fuck you, Hassan Campbell, man. Word of my mother. I'm done.